ఓకే శివం షుడ్ యు స్టార్ట్ విత్ ఎంటి ఎస్ సర్ ఎస్ సర్ ఓకే శివం కెన్ యు రైట్ అ కన్సోల్ లో రైట్ శివం మైనస్ 100 యా శివం గో హెడ్ అండ్ టెల్ మీ ది అవుట్ పుట్ అండ్ వై సర్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ దిస్ ఇస్ అ స్ట్రింగ్ అండ్ ఇఫ్ మైనస్ 100 ఇట్ వుడ్ మేక్ so it would uh, it would give me a number uh, which is uh, which is the code number of the strings uh, combined code number no sir not the, uh, the sir uh, there is a number uh, behind the strings uh, actual letters if we have uh, so you mean to say shivam will get converted into number you mean to say so uh, because in the addition it doesn't happen but in uh the strings do not uh, convert uh, to numbers in addition but in subtraction and multiplication and division if you do plus instead of minus what it will happen so i think it would concat uh, concat the both of them it will concat it will concat yeah. oh. so when 100 uh, will be so you don't know what uh, if we do subtraction we you don't know of what it will happen you mean to say. yes sir okay fine you can comment this out Okay, can you tell me what are REST parameters, Shivam? Sir, uh, REST parameters, uh, uh, I haven't explored the REST parameters yet. Okay, can you tell me what is the use of SPREAD operator? Yes, sir, I know. Uh, SPREAD operator, we spread the uh, objects over the arrays. Okay, and, can you give me an example the, for arrays? sir array is a set of uh, array you can just type. give me an example you can give uh, like right array 1 array 2 and accordingly you can use the spread operator okay sir so by doing so we can log fourth line console dot log oh sorry oh so we have made uh, the object and the uh, and the index is converted to the the key key value pair index is converted into key value pair sir index is converted to the key and the value is the uh, in whatever is inside the what pair. is the use of spread operator you just put it it doesn't make sense like tell me some use cases sir in the uh, sir using by using spread operator we uh, from any uh, array or the object we get the individual values we can get the individual values individual uh, values which has the which has data inside okay fine you can come on for this out okay can you write an array with elements b b so, b strings yes b. comma 8 comma 9 comma c comma 2 uh you can write shivam in the last you have to separate characters in one array and uh, numbers in different array you can write a function for it okay sir uh you understand the question yes sir i understood it what you understood Sure. sir i would uh, we have to make an array uh, suppose it is an array where only these things are there uh, b c and shivam and in I the i told you characters characters yeah the not strings okay so the shivam has to be uh, separated no shivam no i i don't want shivam string i want only characters only b only the b and c b only, and c and that is uh, the character array and the another array should be of numbers 
of numbers and the si- the seven word has to be Shivam, not in the I am not array. asking of string so you have to left it as it is okay sir it will be ignored so you have to write a function accordingly you have to separate numbers array and separate characters array you can write a function for it okay sir Okay, I'll uh, take your five minutes, and if you don't, then we will move on. Okay, sir. So, okay, yep. You can comment or remove this. Yeah, uh, you can comment everything. Oops. Okay, so, fine. Ashwam, <coughs> can you tell me the difference between find method and filter method? So find array gives the index of uh, that particular thing that we ask and index. Uh, find. Sir, actually, I haven't uh, done the find, but. Uh, but the filter will give the uh, it will whatever we give the condition by using that condition it will give the output okay can you write an array okay. write an array with elements 1 2 3 4 5 uh, apply filter condition on this sir it will return something uh, sir, yeah, yeah, just uh, write it down i will tell you the condition later on uh, write condition Element greater than five. Element greater than five. Yes. How will you write? Okay, sir. I will. I will write. Ah, uh, can you write x e- x equals to five? Yep. Tell me what will be the output here. So the uh, sir, we will get an array which has a value of five. Okay. Can you write instead of filter, write map? Yeah. Tell me what will be the output here. Sir, it will return x equals to five. X is the sir. It will be iterating x equals to. F- so it will give an array which uh, which is consisting of a uh, boolean values okay true and false and the four four values would be false and but the fifth value would be true since the five is equals to five you know or x what map method generally does sure so i think it will assign the value as five and return it so what will be the final out it will be an array of uh, five values having five Okay. Yep. Write greater than five. Yep. What it will give? So it will give x. No. Oh, now it will give the boolean value, sir. What uh, output will be? Oh, uh, an uh, array consisting of five falses. Okay. Yep. You can comment or remove this out. Okay. Fine. We'll move to React. Sure. Okay. okay so can you tell me what is the difference between use memo hook and use callback hook so use memo hook we use uh, to make our uh, to save the uh, the expensive task so that the the function the, so that the 
uh, our app doesn't have to uh, run it again and again. Only one time it will save, but in the callback, it will memoize the uh, this. Uh, it will memoize. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, it will memoize the. Uh, I think the repeated task will be memoized inside callback. Can you tell me what do you mean by memoize? Sir, it will store the store the data inside. Okay. Can you tell me functional components have their own state? Yes or no? A functional component, sir. We give the. Uh, we give the. Give, no, sir. They do not have. No, sir. They do not have. Yes. Okay. Can you tell me use state hook is it synchronous or asynchronous? Use state hook, uh, sir. Uh, sir. Uh, I never uh, worked with uh, how uh, it is. Okay, sir, it is asynchronous, obviously, because Why? it re-renders. Because sir, it uh, re-renders uh, re whenever it uh, changes. It uh, re-renders the whole page. It re-renders the whole page, and therefore, it is asynchronous. Uh, sir, asynchronous means uh, things. Uh, uh, okay, fine, sir. Fine. Can you tell me how you can optimize React applications? Uh, optimizing, mm, sir. In uh, in what terms? I don't uh, get it, sir. How you can improve the performance of React applications? Uh, so, uh, if you don't know, we can move ahead. That's fine. No, sir, I don't know, sir. Okay, fine. fine. Can you tell me what is the difference between use state can use reducer hook? Use state hook and Use, use ready, sir. Sir, uh, in use state hook, we we store some state. Uh, it will uh, it will store the values and uh, re-renders the page whenever it changes. And in the reducer, I did not uh, re uh, reduce it. You don't know use reducer. Okay, okay, fine. We'll move to Node.js. Okay. Okay. Shivam, can you tell me what do you mean by streams? Screams. Streams. S T R E A M S. Streams. Mm, so, uh, I don't know the streams. Okay, fine. Fine. Can you tell me how Node.js is different from React.js? So, uh, React.js is a JavaScript library in which we embed uh, HTML, uh, in which we embed our JavaScript and HTML. Uh, but Node.js is a uh, runtime of JavaScript where we, write, we can write our JavaScript. That is the main difference. And also, sir, React is for front end and hmm. Node.js is for the server, basically the back end. Okay. Can you tell me how you implement rate limiting in Node.js API? Sir, I don't know the oh. rate limiting. Okay, fine. Can you tell me what is cluster mode in Node.js? So, can you tell me how do you secure a uh, node.js application against uh, like there are different vulnerabilities like there is a triple x double s or like sql injections okay so these are the common vulnerabilities uh, so can you tell me how you can secure these uh, node.js application from these issues so uh, from uh, for that we can we can use uh, multiple Middlewares. Also, sir, uh, we can use. Uh, there's a thing, uh, passport. Uh, by using that, we can uh, we can we can use authentication part and authorization. Only the authorized person uh, can access. Okay, we'll move to Express. Can you tell me how you can handle course in Express? Sir, in course, uh, we uh, sir we uh, we can do two two things. One thing we can we can install a proxy, uh, then we can connect our front end, the React and the Node.js. And the other thing would be to. Other thing. So, um, so I think I. Uh, okay, fine, sure. Fine. Okay. Do, are you aware of Poa? No, sir. Right. Okay. How do you handle authorization, authentication in Express? Sir, we pass. Uh, uh, sir. We use uh, it as a middleware. Uh, uh, there are multiple methods uh, like JWT and OAuth, but I have used only Passport. 
and pass uh, and make uh, make a file of middlewares and pass it as a middleware and inside the uh, the middleware there was there would be a logic uh, either the person would be authorized or handler. how do you handle route throttling in express uh, sir i haven't uh, okay okay fine 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 okay uh, we'll move to mongodb can you tell me how you can optimize aggregation queries first tell me about the aggregation queries and then you can tell me how you optimize aggregation queries in mongodb no sir uh, aggregation queries uh, uh, do, uh, have you worked with like lookup or sort uh, no sir i have uh, only created uh, first i uh, whenever when i was making the project i made up the local uh, mongodb and then later i shifted the entire uh, database to the mongodb atlas okay fine can you tell me about the indexing sir uh, indexing yeah. in mongodb yeah no sir i don't know i only okay. know when okay. we can get the data okay okay how can you secure mongodb databases sir uh, for the data we can use uh, hashing l sorting methods uh, yes come again so we can use our uh, data after so hashing and sorting so these are the ways through which uh, we can secure uh, sir i think by these ways we can secure our data even uh, even if the attacker attackers get the data they cannot use it because uh it is encoded in some different form uh if and if it is reversed it cannot get into the same form okay fine um sure uh, that's it for the interview any queries any concerns you can go with it